This place is nice. Yeah, it is. Not as nice as you look, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Don. Well, I mean, this place is nice, too. They got this tea here. Uh, it's the best in the whole town, trust me. I should have asked you what's good here. I mean, I just got a plain hot cocoa, so. Well, the cocoa's good, too. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. So you have class with Cameron, right? Yeah, that's right. What class are you guys taking? We have philosophy together. It's kind of weird, you know, because Cameron and I have been friends for ages, but now, like, we only see each other twice a week. Philosophy, really? I mean, I love philosophy. You know, I consider myself a bit of an intellectual. Um, whom are you reading? In, in the class right now, Nietzsche. Oh, really? I'm fascinated by Nietzsche. <laughs> yeah? I mean, I just love how meaningless it all is, you know? I don't know. Even if it is meaningless, I don't think that makes it worthless. I mean, when I read it, it was just awful depressing. I mean, he just goes on and on about how meaningless life is, you know? I, mean, I feel like he really gets me. Huh. Well, it's neat you understand it. I, I've been kind of struggling with it. Right. Well, some people just don't have that mental capacity for nihilism. So, uh, have you figured out what you want to do yet? No, not really, no. I mean, my parents want me to do something practical, but I'll, I'll probably end up majoring in, like, liberal arts or something. <laughs> well, I suppose it's not the worst major you could have chosen. And what would that have been? Uh, probably women and gender studies. And what makes you say that? I mean, what's the point? I mean, unless you're going to be teaching the women and gender studies, it kind of seems like a bogus major. I mean, if I had been tricked into choosing that as my major, I probably would have asked for a refund. <laughs> really? A refund? What, because you got tricked into experiencing another perspective? Well, isn't the point of college to get a good job? I thought the point was to, like, find yourself, you know? Like, try different things and have new experiences. So, have you seen any good movies recently? Well, not recently, no. Have you seen any good movies? Oh, I, I just saw The Notebook. <laughs> um, I said good movies. What? I, I liked it. Well, of course you liked it. It's pure vagina pandering. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Wait, Sarah, come back. Hi, Cameron? Sarah, hey. How's it going with Don? Well, things started off okay, but he's... Well, he's Don. That bad, huh? God, I'm sorry. I really was hoping he wasn't gonna be like this. But I, I get it. He's your best friend. Anyway, thanks for trying to set me up. Well, you're my friend too. Again, I'm really sorry. It's so strange, because he's acting like a total prick, and I think in his mind, he thinks he's Errol Flynn. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna break up with him. Well, yeah, hey. you do what you gotta do, but considering this is like your first and a half date, I wouldn't really think this is breaking up. Well, whatever this is, it's not gonna take long. <sighs> Can you come pick me up? He drove, and I, I really don't want to spend more time with Don. Yeah, right sure. Um, I'm actually pretty close. Is five minutes enough time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. Mm. Welcome back, m'lady. Um, I, I don't think I want to see you anymore. Why not? You're selfish and just utterly full of yourself. I can't be with someone like that. What? I'm sorry, we're just, we're not right for each other. You bitch! Excuse me? I mean, I've been nothing but a perfect gentleman to you. Is that what you call it? I mean, I take you to this nice restaurant and I open the door for you. I even complimented you. I mean, what more does a guy have to do? If, if what few nice things you've done for me were just an attempt to get in my pants, then Don, ending whatever this is just got a whole lot easier. I don't even understand. I mean, I've been nothing but a gentleman. You've been everything but. Good. Goodbye, Don. Okay, this isn't working out. I mean, we're not working out. Are you ready to go, Cameron? Cameron, I thought you were gonna wait in the car. I was, but okay, I... what the hell is going on here? I was afraid this might happen. Don, you need to calm down. Okay, so what, now you're gonna take her out? Well, I can treat you way better than this asshole. <laughs> It's not like that. I'm just here to give her a ride So was home. this your idea all along? You were gonna set us up, then swoop in and take her for yourself? Oh, it's not like that. Oh, okay? bullshit. Okay. You know it's not like that. How could you do this She's not into you. That's all. You know what you did? You betrayed me. I wrote you poetry, and it was beautiful. Like our love could have been. Okay, Don, sooner or later, you're just gonna have to face the fact that we, we weren't gonna work out. You know what? I'm fed up with this. Don. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm sorry. 
Your lips taste like American spirit. My hands look like it's been a long time. Last night's failure is 400 miles away, but tonight could be alright if only you let me stay. Baby, you don't take that long. And two rights don't always make a wrong. But darling, listen to me. Life doesn't have to be as tragic as it is in my song. 